Marco, good to see you, bud. Hello. Hello. That was work. And you didn't dodge the lava because you don't do it. And you don't do that anymore. No. Okay. Good. All right. Anymore. What did Mark get for leveling? He got a uh, fifth level extracts. Which cool. Is the big thing. Yep. Uh, he took overland flight for his known extract, but with mythic alchemy, he can spend a mythic point for any extract that he can cast. That's a like level he can cast. Alchemist class power for mythic. Cool. Yeah, that was, that was definitely the best one <laughs> available. Yeah. And, and the Dugan yeah. Schmurf. And the Dugan Schmurf. Uh, he got a grappling infusion to add to his wall infusion. So if you try to go through the wall, the wall gets a grapple check against you. If you <laughs> fail, you will be held and punished for a time. <laughs> stay, stay in the kinesis blender. Yes. Yep. Uh, he can also uh, quicken his telekinetic blast, but that is costly. <laughs> but cool. he can do it. So he can double move and attack. So. Awesome. Very nice. Yeah, I still don't completely understand burn. <laughs> it's not a thing that I have to look at every time. Uh, it's part of the reason I took the overwhelming soul because they can't. They, yeah, no they can't burn take burn, but they can reduce burn to zero, which means they can use that. Power. Because what you're supposed to be doing is burning up your ability score. You yeah, have ability yeah. damage yeah. to yeah. do big things. Yeah. Yeah. But eventually you pass out and it's like, well, okay, we've got this telekinesis, yes, we've got this like, kineticist that we need to... You'll wake up tomorrow! <laughs> right, <laughs> right, lug around, like, luggage. Uh, what did Capper get? Uh, Capper got Frightening Tomb as a bard, which he's now an AoE fear factory, uh, as well as um, uh, Clustered Shots. Uh, yep. Additionally, um, I found that I forgot one of my versatile performances, so we suddenly got a lot better and a whole bunch of skills that I just, just hey. was like, I don't want to like it, screw <laughs> up, I, I can like better if I want to like that. <laughs> so, yeah, it always, it was, it, was a good, it was a good level, a good cleanup, and then, you know, the, the gear was really effective. So. Next time on Lying Bad. Um, <laughs> and then Sulfur, I helped you update. So Sulfur's got 7th level spells. Including Firestorm, uh, as his ranger, his ranger um, style is two-hand fighter. Mm -hmm. So he got dreadful carnage, so he can make people scared. Uh, and then he got fourth level ranger spells. Uh, nice. uh, Grackle, what did what did you get for your fourteenth? Uh, for fourteenth, he got uh, wisdom damage on sneak on any sneak attack. So gross. And uh, as part of his. Um, Love it. Part of the, the second, <laughs> se yeah, the second, the second, uh, second mythic. Sleep. He got anything he attacks on his first attack if it's not mythic is a sneak attack. Whether okay, so him, him and Los are sneak attack brothers. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what about Desaad? Desaad got uh, quick and uh, not quick and um, uh, blood, not, uh, faint at range. So now he can use his pistols. So he can faint someone, no dex, touch attacks. Sick. Sneak attacks, which are sneak attacks at this yep. point. Okay. So everybody now gets to sneak that dude. But he could also do that to two characters at the same time at range in the same round. So. The saving grace is going to be when he has to pull out the ammunition to throw it, he's got a gun in each hand, and you're like, I guess I got to this in my armpit and hope I don't blow my arm. <laughs> <laughs> well, he does that the first round, and then he just turns into a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Chaga as a sorcerer got seventh level spells. His first seventh level spell is Greater Teleport. Uh, you can now quicken third level spells and do Ego Whip five and Psychic Crush three. Um, he through Mythic can just rhyme off a bunch of generic seventh level spells now, which is really nice. And his cleric, he's now a twelfth level cleric on the back end, which just gave him more spells per day. Um, Los, there's a bit of a power jump here. Hmm. Uh, Los is now a Ninja 8 Swashbuckler 6, and then on the Gestalt it's Sorcerer 9, Arcane Trickster 5. That's all sorts of weird, okay. Uh, yeah, what did he get? Um, Master of Shadow as a Ninja Trick. He basically can lead allies in their stealth checks nice. using his stealth. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy awesome. Yeah. 
using bonus. his stealth bonus with your armor check penalties. Oh, but but no. it's, it's like it's like Chaga can stealth if Los is teaching him how, basically. Well, I'm, uh, I'm fairly certain this takes the form of Chaga. He enters your body and it's and starts like, moving you around, or, or silences the uh, silences yeah. the uh, uh, the armor flapping around. Uh, and then seventh level spells for Los. Um, he he has to uh, he. I debated greater teleport. He'll take that later. Um, he can't take a lot of the damaging spells that aren't force effects. So, because he's he's a, yeah. a ghost, he took Force Cage instead, which is basically get stuck in a yeah. box of box of Force uh, as a timeout. One of the versions of Force Cage allows for one inch uh, spaces in bars that arrows can be fired through. Um, the creature inside gets cover. So, stick I, the enemy I in the timeout. Cover. Yeah, cover. yeah. Uh, I don't. I will, I will ignore cover next level. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Which is like, you know, get stuck in the box of the Arrow, yeah, Arrow, 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 Arrow Doom from Force Capra explosion. indoor. Yeah. Although, your bits, as long as there's something in there with it, is, it, is the attack roll from you, or is it from... Where's the A to B on your attack rolls with the Doom? It's not specific. I always picture it like you got to bring it to yourself, and then move it. Otherwise, it's like... <laughs> otherwise, no one gets covered from you. It's like, yeah, I'll throw something from behind you. It's... So it's going to be a rock that's on the that you just put. Dee <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, has got seventh level oracle spells. Uh, so mass cure, serious wounds, greater restoration, and regeneration, which you'll put to good story use. Yep. Fourteenth um, level bard gave her the ability to do five rounds of bard song to rhyme off a heal. Oh yeah, ah. that's awesome. Nice. So at the beginning of every combat, she's going to be like, I start by heal. <laughs> Somebody's going to get it. What's nice is that range, it's not wander up and touch. So it's like at the range of the bard song. Uh, that's effectively that's effectively at 14th level. So. Uh, then we have gear, which is in process of being crafted. Yes. But I think the next thing on the downtime is we're going to mount a attempt to save Zogel. So I think we're going to have a... A meeting back at the uh, sanctuary with the cohorts up in the rope trick because there's not enough room the down here. Sanctuary is really small. Yep. The cohorts. Oh, oh we we return. Ga oh, well, okay. So we had sequestered Gamber, uh, uh, Hawkeye, and Hammersmith at this place. Yep. Until we finished our training, because Dee Dee's Gamber. He's the one who's the Hawkeye. How you doing, Dee? Uh, good. I know how to regenerate now. Uh, I, I would love to clap for you. I would too, but you're a bunch of failures. <laughs> Come here, let me cast. The dwarf found that funny. <laughs> <laughs> you're not missing any. You're not missing any bits. Of, uh, He's not missing any bits, so he might be a bad spirit. Three rounds later. Um, there is some, I imagine, painful, <laughs> or tingly at least, regeneration. Uh, after the spell is cast, the physical regeneration, regeneration is complete in one round if severed members are present and touching the creature. It takes 2d10 rounds otherwise. Uh, okay. Uh, it also cures hit point. Like, hit points. Yeah. So. yeah. Yep. She'll she'll do uh, uh, Gamber first and then and then Hawkeye. Okay, so for Gamber, it's far less um, painful as he's getting a, a he's missing a bit of skull bone. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, there is a part where like this the, this this skin the scarry skin peels um, as it is being replaced like pushed out of the way and, and fresh skin is grown beneath. Uh, he will need some time before his hair will be even, uh, but uh, that's the least of his okay. concerns. Dee Dee will collect the skin and pass it off to Phoebe, who then packs it away and labels the vial Gamber. It sounds like you, you have a Gamber paint. Mm-hmm. It... What? <laughs> Fine. Keep your skin tissue. Uh, oh, Phoebe's like, you want this? I was collecting it for scrying. Why not? 
<laughs> All right, she tears the skin in half and gives it gives the. Okay, you have half, half a camper paint. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, we didn't even share. <laughs> so, I know that you sometimes ignore us when we're here, uh, sirs and madam, but uh, we are here and watching you. <laughs> no, no, this, the skin work. So we can scry on you when you screw up again. Grandpa, did you say something? That, that part again, and it's looking at friggin' uh, <laughs> Kev. Uh, <coughs> Kev lived on the streets for a very long time and on Foundry in the poorest part of town. Yeah, bluff, bluff trick, he's trying to put just the skin on him, like, hey, it looks good. Plus 40 something. Is he is scratching at his. Is he some sort of cannibal? Uh, let's just say we keep a close eye on Kev. No tasting. <laughs> he does weird things. Oh, that's disgusting. Why would I do that? Okay. Plus uh, 40 something. <laughs> do you want your arm back or do you want to ask questions? Well, that, no, oh. uh, Hawkeye hasn't been saying shit. Oh, okay. That was Hammersmith yeah. pointing out that something weird was, and that was Gamber asking not to be eaten. Okay, we'll give, uh, is he missing a leg or arm? He's missing an arm. arm. Okay, we'll give right. him his arm back, and in 2d10 rounds, uh, it will be good as new. Okay, almost a minute later, um, nine, nine rounds later. M- Mort screams with him like it's a song. <laughs> 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 she she laughs when it's like a little baby arm sticking out. <laughs> She's never seen it before, and then she feels ashamed for laughing, so she flutters away. That was so bad. Don't worry, the hair will grow in. Just just apply this ointment. So then, slimy. Yeah, she gives him some ointment to put on the. So the pores don't... So it's... Like, the skin is really smooth. Yep. But, you know, it's just... It's perfect. Good as new. She thinks for a moment, very gruesome way to cure arthritis. Uh, he, he, he's, like, looking at his fingers, and they're, like, they're all straight. This one used to kind of go... Go oh, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> He was pointing at one of the fig- like one of the fingers going like off in a funny direction before. That's good. Anyone else? Anyone else is missing a bit? Uh, thank Rogan. Okay. Uh, Chaga. Uh, yes, uh, Dee Dee. Can I come with you to go bring them back to the fork? I I suppose. So we're gonna bring them yeah. back to Fort Mania so that yeah. they can check in with the. Uh, they can check in and give the their general. Story yeah, and... that's fine. All right. So we're gonna teleport them. Okay. Have your story straight. They're so angry that you guys failed so bad. So angry. Uh, I thought we'd do a good job. Ew. Um. While I'm gone, the rest of you come up with a plan to go and rescue Zogel. We will review such plan when I return. Okay. Who the hell does he think he is? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm not even part of this military, says Lois. He's, oh, hey, the captain. Uh, all right, so you try to teleports off with the, with the recruits? Yep. Or not the recruits, the... Uh... <laughs> All right. The... Come on, come on, I'll get back up in the core. Go on, road trick. <laughs> we, we put up a road trick. <laughs> <trick. laughs> it's, it's so cramped down here. <laughs> get back up there. Get up there, poo man. <laughs> oh, oh, as he cl- as uh, side note, as, as Gobido climbs up. Yep. When he gets to the top, goes. I'm pooped. <laughs> he climbs in. <laughs> 
<laughs> Mark's watched the episode. I watched the episode. <laughs> Uh, it's funny that we've got Sulphur up in there and not Phoebe. <laughs> Firebirds, there we got it. Go, go up for the others. <laughs> Give me salt in the fireball. <laughs> Sulphur is your man. So, uh, how are we doing this? We got to go to another plane? Shadow plane, right? We, we got a key? We've been there before, right? Well, we've been there before, yeah. I, I can guess. I, I can cast that. Well, we can shadow walk, or yeah, it's called shadow walk. We're gonna cast that. We can all shadow get in that shadow plane, and then I can only um, uh, what's it called? When you're in the shadow walk plane and you cast shadow walk, does that what does it do? It gets us into the shadow plane, and I'm trying to figure out if we can uh, teleport once we're there. Yeah, why not? This is the plane. I think I'm just trying to think of something that would cause it to not work. Shadow Walk is one touch creature per level. So we could bring a whole lot of us. Thirteen dudes. But if we want to yes. plane shift back. Mm, yeah, that's another yeah. Um, Eight. Okay. I think it's just a flat eight. But do we have hold on, do we even have the um Uh, planar rod for Volcanica? Yep. So, the eight will be... How many? Los could be in his... We could bring all the masters with us. Uh, Chaga... Yeah, and then Los will be in his funerary urn, so then we'll stick um, then Zogel, whatever form he's in. That works. Uh, when are we going to do the scry? After we get to the shadow plane? Uh, 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 sure. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Ooh. Hmm. What if we use the priesty spell? Uh, I want chocolate likes. Find the thingy, or find the find the way. And then, like from there, we could get in the shadow plane. We find the way, and we figure out where he is, and find a way there. And zip over there. Well, that'd be handy, wouldn't it? Well, if the if the scry doesn't work, then we'll get chocolate to cast a spell. Because if the scry works, we just teleport in. Yeah. Assuming we're close enough. Um, Chaka said he knows how to do the really long range teleport. Does anyone else know how to do that? Oh yeah, I can do that. You can? Yeah, just use a bit of extra extra juice and you can get, I can get it off. Alright. Hmm. Mythic points. <laughs> you have seven level spells now? Boom! He's just talking like shit again. Look at this guy. Nah, sorry, oh, he's sorry, just shit it. everywhere! I ain't got that shit. Got that shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. The re you mean the really good one? Oh, yeah, no. Alright, so we're going to be limited to um, three guys plus Chaga. Who do we I, want to go? I am definitely going. Okay. <laughs> he's got a sword, he's going. Los will go because he doesn't necessarily count as one. Dugan can hide in the thing. Yep. And then Capra? Sir, yes, sir. So we've got two people that are hiding. Chaga can bring four. 12 level, you bring four, right? Yeah. 12 level, you bring four. Yeah. So, yeah, we could we could bring everyone. With with the Dugan getting the hole and Lowe's in the yeah. jar. Can we get everyone back? Well, <laughs> Desaad, Desaad can take the same form as Dugan and get in the bag. That's funny. Oh, that's true too, yeah. <laughs> okay, Dugan, I, Phoebe, Desaad, get in the bag. 
I think we have our plan then. And if Zogel's dead, then he doesn't count as a teleporter guy. And if he's a... It's no longer a bag of holding, it's a bag of warriors. <laughs> <laughs> and, if he, and if he's a tadpole, we put him in one of our pockets, or so <laughs> put him in with, with, the, with the Atomies. And if he's a full-fledged guy, then we make him turn small and... Yeah, okay, I think we got it. I think we worked it out. Okay, okay. now okay, now what? Well, you gotta wait for Captain Big Pants. How pants? How big do your pants have to be to be Captain Big Pants? There's only one Captain Big Pants. I don't know, but they must have charged him double for his full play. Fuck, seriously? <laughs> What if you don't wear pants? Can you be Captain Big Pants if you don't have pants? By the nose logic of the goblins, I think so. Yes. I have the big pants here. <laughs> Look at my pants. There's no pants. <laughs> he needs to learn how to be more like Mort, where his pants just grow with him. Yeah, yeah that's right. I bet we could make a fortune making pants that get big and small and they're just really comfy all the time. Well, magic rings resize to the size of the person's hand, so I don't see why pants would be a problem. <laughs> magic pants. Magic pants of all consumption. <laughs> we'll call them Dee Dee Lemons. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah. At the... The fort. Okay, at the fort. Uh, there we go. The general is happy to see uh, her, uh, her men have returned. Been rescued. You, uh, how long are you spending there with them, or are you just sort of dropping them off? We're dropping them off, but Didi wants to speak to the general. Okay. They're dropped off. Uh, they are being um, collected for questioning. Oh, do you put in a good word, gentlemen? <laughs> so uh, this is service. You gotta tell me which map we're on. Service now? Or, Ma or Manus. Uh, Manus, yeah, Manus. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> as they're being led away, you can see Killian is in the hall. He gives Chaga a wink. Watch out for Dewey. Just give him a wave. Hey. Oh, Mark, this character has named bullets with your name on it. Awesome. We we said, why don't you just steal some of the bullets and replace them with? <laughs> okay, Dee Dee will go looking for uh, the general okay. and wait, wait till she's just somewhat alone. Freaking awesome, Adam. <laughs> I was like, oh, hey, look, an NPC just for me. It wasn't oh. for you. It wasn't for you. <laughs> oh, this is back. This is Killian Shaw is Mark's backup character. Why? Well, he needs to be introduced. He can't just come out of nowhere. It suggests that you've got some dangerous adventures <laughs> and you're just going to gank one of Mark's characters. Come on now. No. When would that happen? Your no is not convincing. <laughs> <laughs> it's in that tone. Uh, hi, General. Corporal Tuttle? Yeah. How, how has the fight been treating you? Uh, you know, doing my part. It's not why I came here, though. <coughs> the Battle of Big Odds have revealed to me the powers of regeneration. I notice you got a gippy walk. I want to tell you a story, Didi. Okay. Hey. Pulls Dee Dee to the side. She gets a cup of tea poured. Some cookies are brought. Oh. It is highly non-military-like. Mm. 
As she, Dee Dee appears for this when she sees the cookies, she's resisting the urge of the sugar, and eventually she's on her second cookie. Okay. It's the sugar cookie. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Hmm. General Auburn starts telling the tale of how she met and befriended her uh, bodyguard, honor, honor guard, Trump. Mm-hmm. Okay. From this point, we can then push pause here, and we're going to move over to the goblins, and we'll pick up here again. Okay. Okay, so. Oh, the goblin heroes, okay. The goblin heroes, yes. What map should we be on? Uh, we should be on uh, the jungle mansion exterior, but off to the right. <coughs> Toxo, you've pulled this stone arrowhead out of the eye of this basilisk. This is the largest basilisk that there has yet to have been seen, and you know that this stone arrowhead, it, like, it should not have survived time. It doesn't radiate magic, there's nothing particular about it that would indicate it's special aside from just ability to endure. It is well shaped to be a charm, but this is something of, like, millennia old. It's, it's like, multiple... Like, uh, uh, what is this? Like, civilizations old. This would be like old lizard folk kind of like stone arrowhead. Fascinating, this be. Not so I would shoot. All that effort for a little stone thing <coughs> doesn't look very valuable. <coughs> Zengi, you were promised power and riches. By whom? By, well, by Ascani. Who is speaking for some mysterious white vision? Let us hope your vision isn't leading us astray like the generals <coughs> were. Pieces of land, the size and value of which to be determined afterwards? Sounds like a crock. It's a vision. Sometimes they're easy to interpret and they're very straightforward. Sometimes they're mired in riddles. Oh no! Riddles! Scared oh, yeah, of Scared of <laughs> looking around. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> scared so Damn, I can't see you guys. Lascani, this is the second stop that you've been... Second place that's been pointed out to you by this voice. This this man who speaks to you in your dreams from time to time, his voice is comforting and fatherly. In all ways it could be comforting. He says he speaks for Volcanica. He is at one with the nature of Volcanica and wills the greatest for this troubled place. There are troubled times coming and Friends and weapons need to be arranged and arrayed. Besides, you can't spend your things, your money anywhere, everyone's dead. Now can you? Perspective is what value gives you. And that little piece of stone over there, a little bit of flint or an arrowhead, is going to save everyone. Let's have a look. See. Uh, okay, I guess. We'll... Ta Toxo hands it to you. Is it? I mean, what's the size of this thing? Is it? <laughs> it fits in the palm of your hand. It's it's slightly heavy. So it's actually really small. Checking because I've not played. Okay, she's got max spellcraft, unfortunately. <coughs> that's right. That's all right. So right. Just gonna try to. Well, cast Detect Magic and try to... Try to identify it. Okay. Yeah. It does not radiate magic under a Detect Magic. Hidden be this value. Unknown strength attacks. Uh, I will take... 
ten uh, knowledge arcana. Okay. To hopefully come up with it could be an artifact. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Z- Zengi's aiding you on this. Okay, so that would be a twenty-five total. Twenty-five total. If it doesn't radiate magic, and if it's obviously magical, then artifact is there's some magic that will make it like that will hide the magic, mm-hmm. but artifact is like. A strong guess. Well, if this is an artifact, then, my goblin friend, it is very valuable, almost priceless. And how do we know if it's an artifact? You well, just said it didn't radiate magic. It didn't radiate magic, but it has magical properties. Oh! Zengi starts picking up rocks in the cave. Collecting my artifacts. <laughs> You do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know that artifacts are typically very, very, very hard to break. Okay. Um, she will. She's not strong. Uh, Zenki. Hmm? If you can break this with. Do you have a hammer or anything? Oh, sure. If you break it with a hammer, it's not an artifact. Damages the hammer before it damages the arrow or the arrowhead. It's not a fact. Okay. There's like, oh sure, and he quick draws a a, a a pick. Just just put it over there, right in the middle. Just puts it down. Okay. He'll ride back and he'll charge. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He'll charging attack the the arrowhead. Okay. It's just a masterwork pick, but I'm pretty sure that double damage on a on a charge is gonna do some damage. Um, okay, so normal picks do d6, so small ones do d4. Uh, he's got a strength of 18, and he does double damage on a charge with a n- normal weapon. Mm-hmm. He can't use any of his, like, charge powers or anything like that, right? Like? Like Spirited Charge? You could Spirited Charge it. Well, Spirited Charge, I think, is what makes it times two. No. No power attack. Okay. Damage. Shatters. Ah, shit! <laughs> so, 2d4 plus... Eight plus power attack, one handed. That is pretty damn good. And stone normally has heart. Well, I'll just give damage. All right, so just a a half ass charge does 19 damage. Okay. You sort of blunt in the tip of your pick. And it does push the the arrow head, gets like mushed into the ground. You, You. Dig the end of your pick like you're using it to yep. uh, as a punch. Ah, I hit it pretty good. You wanna fish it on the ground there? Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. It, this this stone arrowhead is is sturdy. Not a scratch on. Not it. a scratch on it. Except for like the obvious nicks where somebody cracked it through stone, but no new notches. Hmm. The value you see now. I just this has. I just didn't hit it right. Hit as you hit as much as you will. Time not affected. Hammer not you can. All right. So Fuck some, that one up. I did. So some, <laughs> over, some some oversized magical hunk of rock. He tosses it back to Ascani. Zengi takes solace that at least the first thing these visions, the first place these visions sent you, they had wealth. Take some vengeance upon a scientist who was twisting that of hobgoblins in some sort of hell magic. I see. So there was treasure to be had. Um, Oh, the internet just crapped. I like the router. Is it? I'll stop the recording. <laughs>